This is Michael Kiltz, Director of Federal Programs, providing the annual Title I meeting to update you on the 2020-2021 school year for Malone School, where we keep it real. Responsibility, excellence, achieving, learning. Today's agenda will cover topics on tips to help your children, information about Title I, information about standards, testing, and school grade, and information about parent involvement and engagement. As parents, we all want what is best for our children. We want a future that is better for them and to have success in school and life. We want our children to be happy, be a good citizen, be respectful, honest, and hardworking. Title I is part of the Every Student Succeeds Act, reauthorized in 2015. This law ensures that every student has access to a high quality education by motivating and challenging their minds. Children will have access to highly qualified teachers who use proven instructional methods in a safe and drug-free environment. Title I is a federal program providing funding to the state. The Florida Department of Education sends money to the district for distribution to eligible schools. Malone School implements a Title I school-wide program. As a parent of a student in a Title I school, you have certain rights that are as follows. You have the right to be involved and request regular meetings to express your opinions and concerns. You have the right to be provided information on your child's level of achievement on the Florida Standards Assessment and Reading Language Arts, Mathematics, Science, and Social Studies. You have the right to request and receive information on the qualification of your child's teacher and you have the right to be informed if your child is taught by a non holo qualified teacher for four or more consecutive weeks. The annual school report card is located on the Florida Department of Education's website and is linked to the district and schools websites. The annual school report card provides information on demographics, school safety and climate, graduation rate, student achievement, class size, teacher and staff information, and other information about Malone School. As of 2020, school grade data is unavailable due to COVID-19. Educational standards is what is taught to your child. Florida's benchmark for excellent student thinking are the new standards for reading and math. More information on standards can be found on the link provided. Each school implements the standards through an adopted core curriculum that is then supplemented with resources from Title I and coordinated with other local, state, and federal programs. Each school measures student success through assessments given in grades 3 through 11 in reading, math, science, and social studies. Additional district progress monitoring tools are used to track student learning and growth through the school year. Title I programs provide supplemental supports to improve student achievement. Funds are used for smaller classes with additional staff, remediation, tutoring, parent involvement, and supplemental curriculums. Malone School received $147,600 in additional funds from Title I to implement supplemental activities like technology, online learning programs, and additional staff. The use of Title I funds requires feedback from stakeholders. The School Advisory Council helps in making decisions on use of Title I funds. Working together allows the Title I program to improve. Helping with the development of the Parent and Family Engagement Plan, the school improvement plan, and the use of the parent school compact are easy steps to being informed and involved. The parent school compact is a shared effort of support for student learning as part of the parent and family engagement plan. This compact lists the responsibilities of the school, the family, and the student. The parent school compact should be discussed as part of a parent teacher conference. The parent engagement policy requires the involvement of parents in a meaningful way in the development, implementation, and review of the Parent Involvement Program. Please volunteer to serve on the School Advisory Council that meets quarterly. Please contact Mr. Powell or Ms. Whitfield for more information. The Parent Engagement Plan requires the school to convene an annual meeting to inform parents of Title I students of Title I requirements and their rights to be involved in the Title I program. This policy also requires that meetings or trainings be held at flexible times to maximize participation. In addition, 
The Parent Engagement Plan provides parents of Title I students with timely information about the Title I program. At the end of the school year, the Title I program sends out a survey to get feedback on the program and prepare for the next school year. The Parent Engagement Policy assists parents in understanding academic content standards, assessments, and how to monitor and improve the achievement of their children. The Parent Engagement Policy provides materials and training to help Title I parents work with their children to improve their children's achievement. Malone School wants you to be involved. You have the ability to influence your child's education more than any teacher or school. Please be involved in their education by communicating with their teacher and checking their grades on a regular basis. Support your child's education by actively participating in reading activities, monitoring time, watching TV or playing video games, asking questions about what they learned that day, and praising efforts and growth. Please get to know your school and communicate with teachers. Malone School encourages participation in school activities, volunteering, being on the School Advisory Council, using the Focus Parent Portal to check student grades, and to have a parent-teacher conference. Thank you for viewing this year's Title I Annual Meeting for updates. If you have any questions, please contact your child's school or contact me directly at michael.kilts at jcsb.org.